<laughs> Hello, everybody, uh, and, and welcome to the European Parliament workshop on uh, digital data for dimension research and innovation. <clears throat> My name is uh, Deirdre Clue. I'm uh, very happy to support the European Alzheimer's Alliance. I'm actually one of their vice chairs, so I think, uh, and this is a very important event. I'd like to welcome all the speakers participating and I have fellow MEPs, I know Ms. MEP Penkova is here with us and Sir Fekitainen is going to join, maybe she's probably already with us, but um, thank those for joining also and thank our speakers in particular. Um, so um, so as we, as we know, there are no curative disease for Alzheimer um, research into understanding the underlying diseases as well as the development of new treatments and models of care then becomes essential. So, and, and of course the data generated in research project is a vital resource and must be open and accessible to other researchers uh, to inform their work and to continue to make progress in this area. Uh, there are a number of EU funded projects which have examined this in the past and the EU's commitment to open science in supporting this drive towards better use and sharing of data for research. So today's speakers are going to outline to us examples of projects which have sought to improve how data can be used and shared to improve our understanding of dementia as well as probably identifying gaps and hopefully gaps in policy and practice that can be addressed as well. And um, so I'm going to, before I introduce the speakers, I'd also, I think MEP Penkova is going to say a few words of welcome to you now. So I'll uh, pass to her and allow her to speak. She's with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Vice Chair Clona. Thank you so much for having me at uh, this meeting and uh, giving me the chance to address uh, our colleagues today. So um, we live in times of unparalleled uncertainty and the COVID pandemic has obviously hit us all hard in all aspects of our life, social, professional and personal. Um, the unprecedented crisis has impacted most severely the most vulnerable parts of the society. And this is an ongoing problem, not only from the people who suffer directly uh, from this debilitating condition, but also for the families, friends, and the people who are taking care of them. The world health organization uh, states that worldwide there are about 50 million people suffering from dementia and in the EU there are like 10 million case, new cases every year. So this is a significant number of people that need our help and our support. However, COVID had also presented us with unique opportunity. Opportunity that grants us ways to tackle these problems, ways to introduce new medical research, innovation mm -hmm. and methods that could help improve the lives of the people with dementia conditions and those around them. And I'll just say a few words about some very important programs in the EU that have proven to be significant in the current situation. We should be um, able and willing to use their resources in the further opportunities to develop research, innovation, digital infrastructure that's so necessary to tackle those uh, health threats, threats. Sorry, and uh, here we're speaking about funding mechanisms through Horizon Europe, Digital Europe, Connected Europe resources which would be and should be used for further medical research and innovation. I think our priorities as European Parliament, as people dealing with the, the, the condition are clear. Dementia is not a single topic reserved for one political party and one government. It is an ongoing serious issue and it needs common solutions among all political groups and governments. I think the time to act is now and uh, I hope we're gonna have a productive discussion today. 
And I just wanted to uh, use this, uh, this opportunity now to express my willingness to support and uh, be of any help as you think is um, necessary. So you can count on me for further support. I think this is um, everything I wanted to transmit as a message. I don't want to be taking too much time because I know the, the agenda is quite busy and I'm looking forward to, uh, to hear all the, the messages that are going to be presented. And thanks again once more for giving me the opportunity to address you all. Thank you. Good luck at the conference.